Hey everyone, today we are talking about the spotted lanternfly. Um, I've been getting a lot of phone calls to the office, lots of people are seeing these. A lot of people have questions like, what are these? Why are they here? Should I be concerned? Um, you know, you might have seen them on the news. It is considered an invasive species. Um, so I'm going to give some information about what the spotted lanternfly is, why we're concerned about it, and what you should do if you see one. So the spotted lanternfly is an invasive insect uh, that came to the United States in 2014. Um, and they've uh, now made their way into Rhode Island. So it's a concern because they do affect uh, economically uh, significant plants. So um, grapes, um, I believe apple trees, walnut, various trees that we do collect and, and use in agricultural ways um, are gonna be harmed by these insects um, on top of the fact that they can also, if you have a huge population build up on your property, it can just take away from the enjoyment of your own yard. Um, so it's become a real problem and the concern is that that population is going to blow up and the species could become a real issue for Rhode Island. So what we're doing now is we're trying to inform people on what to do if they see them and what are they looking for and, 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 and how do they know it's a spotted lanternfly. So typically with the spotted lanternfly, you're going to see it between the months of June to November. Um, early on in the season, you're going to see the nymph stage, which is actually pretty, pretty easy to spot because um, although early stages of the nymph are black, um, as the nymph gets a little bit older in the June-July time, they'll actually be like a scarlet red, like a bright red, so they'll be very easy to spot um, on your property. So, but we're not at that point in the year right now. We're actually a little further along in the season. Uh, so it's, it's gonna be more the later stage where we're looking for adults. So what does an adult spotted lanternfly look like? So they will have um, transparent wings or semi-transparent wings, not completely. And they have a, a bright red underwing. That's probably the most significant characteristic that I can give because often that's what people first notice and that's how they're able to identify, okay, that, that's something unusual. They do have a little bit of yellow on their abdomen, so that's something else you can see, and they're about an inch in length. So you can see all those various things, and that might be something that you notice with the spotter and lanternfly. So the next question is, um, so what happens if I see it? All right, because I, I even, even I've had people reach out to me and they call the office, they go, I saw the spotted lanternfly, what do I do? First thing you wanna do when you see a spotted lanternfly is you want to, you want to take a picture of it, all right, you want to squish it and kill it because it's an invasive species, so we don't want it here. All right, then you want to go on to the Rhode Island DEM website and report that sighting, and you can upload that picture. So you can report to them everything you've seen, and then DEM will reach out and they'll take care of that in the appropriate manner. So this is just a little bit of information for the, uh, the spotted lanternfly, as I know that it's become more and more of an issue. We're seeing it more and more. It's been on the news a couple of times. So I know a lot of people are having questions coming in. I have a lot of customers calling up. So I just wanted to do a little informative video to give everybody an idea of how to handle it and what they're looking for. All right, good luck guys out there. If you have anything come up, make sure you're reporting it to DEM.